Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pilates core fitness session with Dan Cassette here from the Cambridge Sports Center. We're going to start with a nice roll down. So I want you to begin with a fist distance between your feet. Let your weight shift evenly between the toes and the heels. So try not to rely just on the heels. We often do that. I want you to take the pressure off the backs of the legs. Feel your abs hug around your center. So here's your transversus abdominis wrapping around center, pulling the belly button into the spine. And I want you to breathe in the diaphragm. Okay, feel that the vertebrae are already spacing out. Create distance between the tailbone and the head as you removing pressure from the vertebrae. Don't compress any of those discs as your chin begins to fall forward. So think up and over, almost the arc of water from a water fountain going up and over. Let your arms and your head hang and roll down towards the floor. Just let yourself go upside down and your eyes should be able to see the wall behind you through your legs. Bend your knees, drop the tail down. As you exhale, pull the belly up and round your tail under so you can unfurl the spine coming back up, tailbone, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck and head, right to the top. And repeat, head, neck, up and over the stream of water, neck, chest, waist, shoulders hanging upside down. Bend your knees, yeah. drop that tail, breath in. Lift your belly, roll up, tail under. Tailbone, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck, head. Take a breath. Down you go. Head, neck, chest, waist. Bend your knees. Yeah. Exhale, lift your center, roll back up. Right to the top, guys. Final time, heading down. Melting in half, bend your knees, drop the tail down, roll up. Okay, nice traditional warm up here for you. You're just gonna roll down one final time and you're gonna move to the floor after this, so just be aware. Bend your knees, drop your tail down, move to a crouch. If you need to readjust so that you've got enough mat behind you, then that's fine. But I want you to just roll to your bum. From here, grab underneath your legs or around your knees, and I want you to just pull far with the biceps and bring your sternum forward. So pushing the breastbone out. So you're getting nice and tall through the thoracic spine. I want your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips. From here, activate your abs in deep to your spine. Let them pull back so deep the hip bones have to pull away from the legs. And you're trying to separate your abdominals from your hip flexors for a moment. Then inhale and rise back up. It's okay to use your arms to pull so you get some um, activation across the chest and through the biceps. Exhale, pull the belly in, round the lumbar. Try to create a ramp as though you're gonna roll down your spine because we will in a moment. Rise back up, deep breath in. Exhale, pull the belly deep towards the spine. Exhale again, come back up. Exhale back, get some oxygen. So you can exhale and pull back up tall. All right, from here, make sure there's room behind you. Pick a leg, hold on, round that back, pull those muscles deep in towards you. Lower yourself into the floor. Good, plant the feet flat, palms down on the mat. We're gonna go for a pelvic bridge. So, abs engage, hip bones down. So you're working for the imprint position. This is a posterior tilt of the pelvis as the hip bones drop behind the pubic bones orientation. Keep this little pelvic curl as you engage through the feet to push the glutes up, the tailbone through the legs, and you're gonna rise up, tailbone, lower back, middle back to the shoulders. Little pressure down through the hands and the backs of the arms so that you've got the little connectors around the shoulders active as well. Breathe again. Down you come, shoulder blades, middle back, lower back, tailbone, neutral. Breath, exhale, imprint. Engage the feet into the floor. Engage the glutes to tuck the tail between the legs. Raise up, hold that pelvic curl. Breath and roll down. 
one vertebrae at a time. That's the sound vertebrae make, by the way. Breath in, exhale, abs engage. Yeah. Go into your imprint, curl the tail between the legs, rising up, get to your bridge. bridge. Exhale, <whistles> see, I told you, all the way down to the tail. Good, one more. Exhale, <whistles> imprint. Tuck the tail between the legs. So really engage your glutes. Your hamstrings can activate here. That's gonna be strengthening for the back of the leg, but you're opening the space of the lumbar spine. Now without the sound effects, you're coming down. Shoulders, middle back, lower back, tailbone, neutral. Okie doke. Open the arms. T formation. Feel your abs compress. Now it's okay to have a neutral spine. So if you've got a, a little gap here for your fingers to go between your lower back and the floor, that's fine. You're gonna keep that gap. You're gonna keep the hip bones and pubic bone level. You're gonna pick up one leg, keep your abs compressed to hold that pelvic lumbar connection and bring up the other leg. So now you have a 90 degree fold from your knees and your hips, and you're going to hold this position. Take the knees across you in a twist. It's called a spine twist supine. Keep your shoulders on the floor. Use your abs, not your back, your bum, or your legs to come home. Whoa. Come back and change sides. You're going across to the opposite side. Use your belly to pull back deep. Whoa. Returning you to the neutral. Take your hips across again. Really lift this opposite hip, the one that's in the air, so that the knees remain the same length. That's where you're gonna get the work as your core is holding your pelvis in a neutral alignment. And you'll feel the weight of the legs really leaning over and your abs catching it and bringing it home. One more each side for me. Take it across, breathing deep, belly to spine, so your abs are doing the work, not your chest, not your back. All the way across, second side and then return to neutral. Take one foot down, hold that neutral spine. Other foot down, good. Hands lace together under the bulge of the skull. Not too narrow with your shoulder blades, so don't let the elbows fall flat. Not too closed, not too wide. So you should see your elbows in peripheral, but don't let them change. Press the abs flat and lift your chest. That's an exhale. You're gonna hold for a moment as you breathe and exhale down. Exhale to rise. Breathe. Exhale down. Exhale, rise. Breathe. Exhale down. Exhale, rise. Breathe. Exhale down. Exhale, rise. Breathe. Exhale down. Now then. Again, rise, hold. Keep your abs flat and firm, nice and strong. Keep those shoulders up. Don't lay them down even as you twist. Look your nose, uh, let your nose point past one quad and then center and point past the other quad. So you're not over rotating. I'm not gonna lie all the way down onto my ribs and my shoulder. I wanna just keep high and rotate and keep high and rotate. Should be plenty of work at a really simple movement. Twist, twist. Keep those abs pressing down and firm. Good, come center and lie back. Nice. From here, guys, take your hands around and I want you to catch both of your knees. We'll do a really traditional setup for this whole thing. So I want you to start with your abs engaging firmly down nice and flat across your center. Push your knees into your hands and hold on tight with your biceps. Engage so that you bring up your chest. So it's like another chest lift, but you've got the help of your hands. Now you have to keep your chest at this level as you exhale and bring the legs in. Sorry, let's inhale as we stretch. Exhale as we swim around and catch the knees. So let's do that. Inhale out, exhale round. Inhale, out, exhale, round. Out, round, out, round. Hold on for a moment, keep your chest up. Now, let yourself back into the floor. A little rest.
We're going to carry on with the progression. The belly presses down, the chest lifts up as their legs push away. Hold on tight with the arms. Keep your chest here as you hold onto one knee and stretch out the legs. If you can, keep the toes in line with each other. So that's going to be your, um, your measure. <sighs> Reach and exchange. Change and exchange. Change and exchange. Change and exchange. Change, 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 change. Catch both knees. Lower the torso down. Let's have another quick rest. Good. We're going to focus down the abs early in class. And then we'll work our lateral rotation, some bridging, and some flexion of the lats. And then we'll do some back extension. So we've got lots to do today. Let's set back up once again. Press the abs down. Lift the chest up from here. Hold this position. Take one leg out to the single leg stretch. Fold your hands behind your head and we're going to single leg stretch with a crisscross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Catch those knees, hold on to the legs or hold on to one leg, stretch the other leg up and use your leg weight to help roll you up to seated. Good. Bring the feet close to you. You can go back to doing pelvic bridge if you need to, if you've got any disc issues, but if you're okay to roll on your back, we're going to do rolling like a ball. Grab low, close to your ankles, draw the toes in, and then I want you to balance. So lift your toes off the floor. Pull your abs into your spine away from your legs and hold this shape. You're gonna roll like a little egg from your tailbone to your shoulders. Press your abs down into your pelvis to come back to your balance on your coccyx without kicking or catapulting your legs. Here we go, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, don't catapult, use your core. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more. One more. Good. From here, we're gonna uh, expand the activity. Hold onto your ankles, bring them up to parallel with the earth. So you got a nice uh, bent leg position here. You can do it, the exact same activity here. This is called an open leg rocker. If you're confident with this curve um, and the bent leg position, you can try to go for a straight leg position. So open up to a big V. So you can do bent legs or straight legs, your choice. Round your lumbar to create a light, nice ramp or rolling surface. Push the belly down. And when you come up, try to lift that chest, lift that breastbone. Curve the lumbar, roll to the shoulders, inhale. Lift your chest, like a little sniff at the top. Here we go, rolling back. Exhale, lift, and down and back. Lift up, curve, down, back, lift, and roll down, back, lift. Bend one knee, bend two knees. Relax and center. Let the legs just open up for a moment. Catch your ankles and bow head, neck, chest, waist, curve over. Nice. Fold the legs together. Catch one and roll back into the floor, guys. Keep hold of that leg. Okay, so for me, I've got my right knee and my left foot's on the floor. I'm going to stretch that leg into the sky and put my hands down on the floor, flexing the foot so I'm standing on the ceiling. I'm going to push down with my long leg in my hands, bring the air, leg in the air across, down and around, and I don't want my hips to swivel or wobble. Another circle, another circle, another circle. So it's really about core control. I want to keep my hips still while I'm working here. I'm going to change my circle going in the other direction, and the same rules apply. Now bend, 
put it down, rest a moment, and we're gonna change, bring up your opposite knee. For me, it's my left. Leg into the sky, foot flexed, bring it across center. Now engage your abs down. I want nice controlled pelvic lumbar region. The hip bones are not gonna move. The spine is not gonna move. Big swoop, big swoop, big swoop. I say big, but it can be medium or small if your hip bone needs it to be a little smaller. So just be gentle on the joint. Change your direction, go out and around. Keep your pelvis steady. Keep your legs and arms gently pressed into the floor for support to help your abs keep your trunk neutral. Bend, put it down, little shake, little rest. Roll onto your side towards me. Lie down on that bicep. Lengthen this top hip away from your ribs. Create a little gap here. Float your feet off the floor about two or three inches. Now we're gonna press that gap closed with our obliques, our side muscles. Press, and that's gonna lift the legs. Lower, press, 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 and lower. Keep your abs firm. You almost want to think of a posterior tilt. So the hip bones are trying to draw backwards and the pubic bone is trying to come forward towards your nose. Your abs are scooping in to hold it all firm. Lift the top leg to hip height. Take it behind you as though there was a wall. You want to tap the wall with your heel. And don't roll backwards in the hip alignment. But like there was pencil marks on the wall, you're going to rub it out with your heel. Go up, down, up, down. You're targeting the glute medius right behind the hip bone, right behind the iliac crest. So you should feel it in the top of the glute. But keep the abs engaged so that you don't start to compensate with the back. Good. Now swing it forward, up, down. Forward, up, down, return. Forward up, down. And again, don't rock and roll in the hips. So it's not gonna be the biggest forward leg swing you've ever done in your life. Keep your pelvis steady and still working that glute medius. You should feel the burn. <sighs> forward, lift, stay. Drop, 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 drop. Keep the belly lifted. Don't let the hip bone roll forward. <sighs> and that's good. Swing home, put it down. Rest. Bend those knees, come on up to your side. From here, hand on the floor, take the top foot into the crook of the ankle here and the bottom foot. Engage the lat to support. <sighs> Lift up to your knees, push up to a T formation if you can, and then arc your hips into the sky. Lower to the T formation, bend your knees and lower the hip to tap. Stretch to the T, arc it up. Down to the T, tap the hip. Lift, arch, lower, tap. Lift, arch, lower, tap. Lift, arch, lower, tap. Sweep the legs around, A little break dancing for you. Take the top foot into the crook of the bottom foot, right at the ankle. We're gonna reverse our side series. So your abs are gonna lift, you're gonna stay supported, don't drop into that shoulder. Lift up to the knees, or if you can, straight legs, keep those legs touching though. Arc the hips higher, come down, tap, lift, arc, 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 down, tap. One more, lift, arc, down, tap. Rolling down into your side, take yourself out to a nice long line. Don't roll forward, keep that hip bone right over the other one. It's crucial for these exercises. Feel the abs hug and support your center. Lift the top leg. 
Don't let your pelvis change. Swing forward as far as you can without changing your pelvis and drop, 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 drop. Really engage the belly close to the spine. Feel the back of the glute medius here, right behind the hip bone. Stop, come home neutral. Swing forward, lift, lower, swing neutral. Forward, lift, lower, swing neutral. Forward, lift, lower, swing neutral. Forward, lift, swing. It's really about core stabilization and the glute medius. If you neglect one for the other, you're gonna find that neither exercise does you any good. It takes both the co-contraction of the abdominals and the activation of the glute medius to get the benefit of the exercise. Close it up. Little rest. Now the uh, pencil mark on the wall. Your abs engage. Think pubic bone rotating towards the nose. Hip bones pulling back. So you've got that deep connection. Bring that heel behind you right to where you feel the grease of the crease of the glute and the hamstring. Rub out the pencil marks with your heel. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Belly to spine. <sighs> Thinking of that posterior bias of the pelvis. <sighs> Working that glute medius right behind the iliac crest. Couple more. <sighs> lift and lift. Close. All right, side lifts only, left to do. Lengthen that hip away from your ribs. Balance in a little hover, two or three inches off the ground. Using your obliques, press the gap closed and lower and a press and lower. Press and lower and a press and lower and a press and lower. Press and lower, press and lower and a press and down. Good. Move to your belly. From here, guys, I wanna just have our elbows on the floor. <sighs> Wide shoulders, open collarbone, though. You'll just be looking at the floor just a little past your fingertips, probably, so I'm not trying to crane the neck out of alignment of my spine. However, I do wanna lift my abs so that the hip bones are trying to lift away from the floor. So again, it's posterior tilt. Pubic bone's gonna feel pressure down into the mat. If you can have your legs touching, go for it. Now, feel the lats pulling the shoulder blades down. It's like you're trying to draw your elbows along the mat towards your hips. So your abs are lifting up, your elbows and shoulders are pulling down and lift your legs off, off the, up off the floor. You're gonna do little leg kicks, single leg kicks. One, two, one, two. One, two. If you're keeping your legs floating, you'll really feel the hamstrings and glutes working deep. Keep breathing. In, 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 in. Out, 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 out. So long breaths. Out. In. Out. Don't drop those abs. Don't forget those shoulders. Keep those legs lifted. There's a lot going on, but you're getting a lot of good work. Now, legs rest, nose close to the earth. Just hover the nose, swim your arms around to press into the sides of your legs. Try again, get those legs touching. Lift your abs once more, try to bring the hip bones away from the floor so you're working that posterior tilt, even here on your belly. Lift your upper back and pull the shoulders down. Again, I'm not craning the neck. Keep the back of the neck long. That's a sh uh, uh, back extension. Lower the chest, repeat. Lift the breastbone, pull the shoulders down, lower. If you're feeling it in your lumbar as you work, just keep going. Then just try to work that posterior tilt a little more and don't worry so much about height. It's not really a height exercise. I want the shoulders pulled down the upper back feeling the work, not the lumbar. Now rest. Hands come under the shoulders. Push off your hands. Press your bum back towards your heels. Melt your elbows and your head down to the floor. Little rest.
One more back extension exercise. Move your body down to the floor once more. Turn your face towards me. Lace your fingers behind your back and let your elbows drop to the floor. Legs together, same as always. Now, find that abdominal lift and that posterior tilt. You're gonna lift your legs off the floor. You're gonna pump your heels to your bum. One, two, three, slide your hands down your bum, lift your chest and lengthen like a human torpedo. Change your face to the other side, bring your hands to your back, elbows down, pump. Two, three, extend like a torpedo. And pump, two, three, don't let those knees touch down, keep them in the air, lengthen. And a pump, two, three, and extend, long legs, long body. And a one, two, three, and extend. Last one, one, two, three, and extend. Palms underneath you. Push back to your child's pose once more or that rest position. Let your bum, your back, your shoulders, your neck, your head relax. Come up to all fours. Good. From here. Just want you to keep your shoulders and chest broad and wide. Step out with one leg, step out with the other leg, so you're into a front support position. I want you to do three press ups. Now they can be small or they can be deep, but I want you to keep your belly lifted, your back straight, and I want your shoulders wide. So only go as low as you can keep your shoulders wide. Elbows pinned close to the body, one, and a press. It can be just shallow. I'll show you a shallow one, one, and a press, or deep, one, and a press. Now walk your hands into your feet in three steps. One, two, three. Roll up to standing and breathe as you come. So you get lots of oxygen into the brain. For a traditional Pilates format, we have a couple more press ups to do. So you're gonna drop down, head, neck, shoulders. Hands on the floor, three steps back to where you were. One, two, three. Get all the way to that forward front support position, and here we go. One, and a press, wide shoulders. Two, and a press. Three, and a press. Walk your hands in. One, two, three. Roll up. You can do that with bent legs if you need to. Get that oxygen in the brain, don't pass out. Down you go. Final set. Walking out with your hands. One, two, three. Here we go. Shallow is fine. You don't have to impress me with a deep low bend. Just do as much as you can. If that means just unlock the elbows and straighten the elbows, unlock and straighten, then that's good. Press back, tail into the sky. One, two, three. You can bend your knees if you need to. I'll show that variation. Roll up, right to the top. Once you're in the top, guys, just hover there for a moment. I'll turn to face you. Feet in neutral, weight shared from the balls of the feet to the heels, so nice even distribution. Take two more deep breaths and let that collarbone and chest open up, let the shoulders settle in the back, keep the belly lifted, no pinching in the lumbar. One more breath. And thank you very much. Guys, that's another class from us.